Hello everyone, I'm Alaa Jadi, welcome back to Music Greatness, this is Ruben and for today we have The Devils in the Details by Mac Epps. Sounds just like this. Okay, what I just played was the intro of the song and the pattern from the intro will also be used for the covers in the song. We're playing in the key of E major and we're starting on the two chord, playing F sharp minor 9. Only using the left, I have C sharp, E, G sharp and A. So that's a woodless voicing. Then going up, we have G sharp minor 7, D sharp, F sharp, G sharp and B. So that's an inversion of G sharp minor 7. The second inversion. Then still going up, we have now A major 7. E, G sharp, A, and C sharp. Also an inversion. The second inversion. Then, still playing on A, I'm going to change two notes from the chord and play A minus 7. So now I have E, G, A, and C. Okay, that's A minus 7, then we're going to go back down by one half step and play once again G sharp minus 7. Okay, after that we're going to use both hands and play B minus 7 at 6, B and A, D and G sharp. And finally, to end the pattern of the intro, we will be playing this chord, C sharp 7, flat 9, C sharp and B, D and G sharp. Okay, now let's quickly recap for the chords, F sharp minor 9, bootless voicing. G sharp minor 7, A major 7, then A again, now playing A minor 7, then go down on G sharp minor 7, one more time, and now adding the right to this, play B minor 7 at 6, and finally end on C sharp 7 flat 9. Now here's the rhythm for the left. 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, and 4. And 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And 1, 2, 3, so I played F sharp minor 9 on the first beat of the measure, then went up on G sharp minor 7 on the end of the third beat. I'm going to play the chord and then break. Just like so. 1, 2, 3, and 4. 1, 2, 3, and 4. And. After that, I have A major 7 played just before the first beat, so that's on the end of the fourth beat. 
One, two, three, and four. And okay, okay. Let's continue. We're going to play A minor seven on the following measure on the third beat. Two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. And one, two, three, four. Once again, one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four. So that's the first two measures of the pattern. Coming up next, we're back on G sharp minor seven. It goes like this: one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. So play G sharp on the first beat. Then you have B minor seven played on the end of the fourth, followed by C sharp seven flat nine played on the third beat of the next measure. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three. Also, quick note: after playing C sharp, using your fourth finger, play A, and then your fifth, play B. And from here, you're going to replay. Two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Again, one, two, three, and four. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three. Four. So that's the pattern on the left. Now we have a riff that we're going to play on the right hand that goes like this. One, two, three, four. So I played on my right hand a grace note from F sharp going up on G sharp. Second finger and third finger. Then directly played after that E using my thumb. Then went down on C sharp, B, A, G sharp, and finally F sharp. By the way, I'm using my third finger on C sharp, second on B, my thumb on A, back on my third finger for G sharp, and second finger for F sharp. Now with the left. So basically, I'm going to play F sharp minor nine first on my left. Then I'm going to start my riff. Then playing G sharp minor seven at the same time. I'm going to land on A with my thumb. Also landing at the same time on F sharp with. A major seven on the left. And after that, coming at the end of the pattern, three, four.
So before playing A minor 7, play E using your thumb on your right, and then play B, A, and B again. Pinky and fourth finger. And also for the first time landing on B, you're going to play your A minor 7 on your left. Then you have this. So play A, fourth finger, then G sharp, go up on A, B, and finish the movement playing E with your thumb. Play G sharp minor 7 on the left. At the same time, you play your G sharp note on your right. And then after that, simply play B minor 7 with C sharp 7 flat 9. Don't forget to play A and B after that. Okay, now let's replay that pattern twice from the top. Two, three, four. And now you're done with the intro and you'll be playing F sharp minor 9, the first chord of the verse. So here's the recap playing the intro at full speed. And that is all for this part. For the rest of the song, please head over to musicgreatness.com. As always, thank you for watching. If you love the content, leave a like, leave a comment, and also don't forget to subscribe. Until then, see you guys next week for another Urban.